As the saying goes, everything old is new again. And here in Turkey, one group's fascination with the past is driving them to want others to also learn about it. They're called the Ottoman Film Society, and they've made it their mission to unearth films and moving images from the Ottoman era. It's a community of archivists, historians, and other specialists who are trying to restore the audiovisual heritage from the former Ottoman territories and reintroduce it to a whole new audience. Comprised of films, photographs, and documents, the traveling project looks back at the empire through an artistic lens in an effort to present the beauty of the past to contemporary eyes. And joining me now in our studio is film critic and the co-founder of the Ottoman Film Project, Jay Weisberg. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jay. Now, where did the idea of forming the Ottoman Film Society come from in the first place? It basically was a, a mutual agreement between three of us. There was uh, uh, the curator of silent film, who is Turkish herself, mm -hmm. at the Eye Film Museum in Amsterdam. Then uh, a woman, an independent film scholar in Switzerland, and myself, who we were talking about the need to to look through the archives in the world to see what moving images exist from the Ottoman Empire, not just countries that were still Ottoman at the time, but mm -hmm. had been Ottoman that retained the evidence of of their Ottoman past. Well. Why is it that it's so important to revisit the events that happened back in the Ottoman era? Uh, any any country's past is important. It doesn't. It, 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 it's not limited to Ottoman. Um, there's so many misunderstandings about everybody's history, but perhaps with the, the empire, also there's uh, a great deal of, of, of ignorance. But also, most people aren't aware that these images exist. In the last few years, I'd say probably the last 10 years, there have been so many books uh, published of photographs from the Ottoman Empire, um, uh, the great photo photographic studios here in Istanbul, the wonderful, mm -hmm. glamorous, glossy picture books. But with films, it's, an, it's a different level. There's an immediacy to film that we don't get elsewhere. Um, so we thought, okay, let's see what's there. The problem is, there are so many problems actually, because many of these films aren't catalogued, they're not properly identified, mm -hmm. they're in fragments. So many times we'll be looking through the archives trying to find these films that, that have no identification. So that's another level that we have to do is, where is this shot, when is it shot, who are the people in it, that sort of thing. Well, tell me about all the challenges that you guys faced by collecting, refurbishing, and even reformatting all these footages well, reformatting collected. we don't do. Some of the archives themselves have digitized some of the some of the films, um, but for the most part, it's their original 35 that had been transferred onto safety stock. Um, but every archive in the world have almost every archive has, has images of, of the empire mm -hmm. um, because these were very popular subjects. At the beginning of, of cinema, everyone wanted to see the exotic, and for them, the exotic was. Practically, it was the country next door. Uh, images of, of little girls in Dutch caps in the Netherlands was just as exotic as, as the pyramids in, in 1902, 1910, 1915. Um, so th there was a different understanding of what was exotic and what was interesting for a public. These are films that would be screened uh, in the early time. Just There would be a series of shorts. A little bit later, there would be shorts before a feature film. Some of them are newsreels, some mm -hmm. of them are travelogues. They, 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 they're in all sorts of different formats, and many of them were hand-colored uh, or stencil-colored, so technologically colored after the being shot. So these images give us a, a sense, and as I said an earlier, an immediacy to, to, to history, which is so important. That is very important. Now, what's the one piece of footage or archival material that really stood out to you? Hmm, um, probably when um, an extraordinary film called uh, From Jaffa to Cairo, which was probably shot around 1912. Mm -hmm. um, and the title is From Jaffa to Cairo, but actually it goes m m far further afield. Uh, and there's an extraordinary image of a Moezin on top of a mosque in Damascus um, at 360 degree view. And um, it's stunning and realizing everything that's happened since then uh, makes it even more powerful. Of course, I have to check in to that. Uh, it sounds absolutely amazing. Well, Jay, it was really nice having you on our show today. Thank you so much for coming on our set. Thank you very much for having me.